Welcome to our video on planning interactive lessons in the EMI classroom. In this video, we will cover the four main parts of a lesson plan, and we will give examples of how to create student-centered learning opportunities for each of these parts in order to give students the support they need to reach the lesson objective. The four parts of a lesson plan are a warm-up, a mini lecture, an interactive activity, and a summary. We will use the water cycle as a topic for this lesson and also bring in examples from an EMI instructor. As a point of reference, here is an image of the water cycle. And the student learning objective for this lesson is, by the end of this unit, students will be able to discuss and illustrate the six parts of the water cycle of their geographic region and appropriately label each part in English. So the first part in the lesson is a warm-up activity. Let's look at an example of how you can use word clouds to introduce new concepts or review key terms. Here is an image of a word cloud made from a reading about the water cycle. A word cloud visualizes course material with the size of the word indicating how frequently it is used in the original text. For example, in this word cloud, the words water and cycle occurred more frequently than did the words soil or evaporation. You can make word clouds using free online tools such as Wordle or WordClouds.com. Simply copy text from an article and paste it into the online word cloud generator. Most of these tools allow users to modify the colors and the format of the word cloud. Word clouds like this help students recognize how much of the vocabulary they may already know and begin thinking about the topic of the lesson. To use the word cloud, try the think, pair, share approach. First, students can think about the words located in the word cloud and make a prediction about the lesson for the day. They can also write down a few words they already know and some that are unfamiliar to them. Then, they can pair with a classmate and compare their word lists. Give the pairs two or three minutes to discuss and make predictions on the topic of the day's lesson. Finally, have the pairs share their prediction with the entire class. This is also a good time to ask about the vocabulary that is unfamiliar to them and help them pronounce any words. You can show them online tools, such as online dictionaries, like Merriam-Webster, that will pronounce words for them. You can encourage students to try these resources out of class and to practice pronouncing these words during class in their small group discussions. For larger class sizes, try using free polling software, such as Kahoot, or you can try Top Hat, Poll Everywhere, or Micropoll for this section of the lesson. This software allows students to use their computers or mobile devices to ask and or answer questions. In this example, a Kahoot question is used to review content from a previous class. Students use their phones, tablets, or laptop computers to answer these live polls. Just be sure that you have a computer with a stable internet connection and a projector, and students have a reliable internet connection. They can answer questions individually or in groups. You can look at this Kahoot for an example. After the warm-up comes a mini lecture. You can use online interactive polls or questions, such as with Kahoot, Top Hat, Poll Everywhere, or Micropoll during content delivery. You can keep an eye on open-ended poll running while you deliver your mini lecture. This allows students to ask questions informally. This screen shows an example of a Poll Everywhere poll that the instructor opened at the beginning of a mini lecture, and then it shows questions that students posed during that lecture. The instructor can then look at the questions throughout or at the end of the lecture and answer those questions. Students do this by going to the pollev.com site and typing in the appropriate PIN number 
as displayed on the screen. They then can type in their question and it appears on the front screen. You can also try online mini quizzes during your lectures as well to ensure that students are following along as shown here. You can add the questions directly to your presentation and have the students use their computers or mobile devices to answer. In this example, students open a browser and go to pollev.com and answer the questions that you entered earlier. Here, students should write the six steps of the water cycle. Including these mini quizzes allows you to see how well students are understanding the information as a formative assessment. They are usually not graded. These mini quizzes also help students pay attention since they know they will have to answer questions throughout the lecture.